Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Draca Cage, Lewis Johnson. Here comes Lewis Johnson. Only 24 years old. He's two and one as a pro. He is two and one. Just recently suffered his first loss. But Jay, look at who is coming out with Lewis in his corner. Former Strike Force fighter Antoine the Juggernaut Brit, one of the best fighters in Virginia MMA history. Uh, Antoine just opened up a new gym called Olympus, Fit, uh, Olympus Fitness. And Antoine, one of the busiest guys in the sport. Uh, he was he was competing for for Abu Dhabi, trying to get into the break into Abu Dhabi grappling. He is a busy guy, and he's a great guy to have part of the Virginia MMA scene. Had a fight scheduled, a grappling match scheduled with Jeff Munson, who was uh, at one time a wrestling coach at American Top Team. Uh, and a former Abu Dhabi champion. Former Abu Dhabi champion. Britt was ready. Munson just didn't show up. Is that right? Did not show up. Well, we don't know anything about that here. Don't know anything about that. Lewis Johnson uh, got to know him a little bit. A big fan of uh, Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan, which takes me back. But, of course, I'm old enough to be this young man's father. Watched all the same movies. Well, he can definitely mirror their speed, uh, if nothing else. As an amateur, he was a Spartaca Fight League champion, if I'm not mistaken. He was Spartaca, one of the top amateur promotions here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Actually won our uh, MMA in Virginia.com 2013 Amateur Promotion of the Year. So great promotions, promote great fighters, Jay, and we're seeing one right here. And VirginiaMMA.com is the place to go look, go find all this out. MMA and VA.com. As Johnson enters the ring. And his opponent, John Peters. Here comes John Bam Bam Peters, trains out of Charlottesville MMAI. Yeah, you want to talk about a tough guy. This is a this is a walk in the park for him. MMA is a walk in the park. He is a federal police officer in his day job. Um, but look, this guy was a former Maryland State champion wrestler at Westlake High School. Tough as nails. His, his uh, Obviously, the ground game is strong. The striking game, as you said, under the tutelage of Dave Morris at MMA Institute Charlottesville, definitely coming along. John Peters never has lost a fight. 6-0 and as an amateur. This is his pro debut. Will his O go tonight? That's what we're going to find out. National champion wrestler in the NCWA, National Collegiate Wrestling Association, his freshman year, won the whole thing, second place his second year, got injured, lost his eligibility. Here he is in MMA. And when you mentioned a federal police officer, he's on the SWAT team at the National Grand in in Intelligence Center in Charlottesville. His job is the shield man on his entry team. So he is the first guy through the door. He is holding the ballistic shield with a whole other team behind him. The following bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds of featherweight unified rules mixed martial arts. Introducing first the man standing to my right and fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, and weighed in at 144 and one half pounds. He is a Taekwondo and Muay Thai kickboxing specialist. His record, two victories, opposite a single defeat, fighting out of Virginia Beach, Virginia, Lewis Lightspeed Johnson. His opponent stands across the cage to my left and fights out of the red corner. He stands five feet six inches tall and weighed in officially at 145 and one half pounds. He is a freestyle fighter and makes his professional debut inside the cage tonight, fighting out of Crows at Virginia, John Bam Bam Peters. Your referee, Scott Oates. Scott Oates brings the guys to the center of the cage. Mike Markham, best in the business. Exits. 
Interesting piece of trivia between these two fighters as we talked about their corners coming in. Antoine Britt in the corner of Johnson, trained under Rick McCoy, who coaches and is in the corner of John Peters. John definitely giving up a lot of height, a lot of reach in this fight to Johnson, but with the wrestling background, all he needs is one shot, one opening, and he's taking you down to the ground. Yeah, and this may be one of the few times. On cue. There he goes. One of the few times in Lightspeed's career where he does not have the speed advantage. Look at that flexibility, that, ath that athleticism, the agility on the ground by Lightspeed. Not often you see a guy like Peters on his back. There's that ground game, Jay, we spoke about a little earlier. He is in his comfort zone right now, is Peters. But boy, is Johnson hard to pin down on the oh. ground. Super slick. Great athleticism by Johnson. Johnson doing a great job of controlling that right arm, that right hand of, of Peters, so that he can't slide that choke under the throat. Reverses the position, gets top position. Peter's scary strong as well, too, that wrestler strength. But this is where, not where you want to be. A no, wrestler does not want to be on his back. Johnson with full mount laying down some vicious ground and pound. Peters fights through, perseveres through the ground and pound and takes, takes the top position in Johnson's full guard. This is where Peters has really improved his game. He had the wrestling base. Adding ground and pound to that wrestling base changed him as a fighter. But boy, is Johnson staying busy on the bottom, not letting P Peters get comfortable. Not letting him pass either. That's a, that's a strong guard as well. Not letting him well. pass. Elbows, blows from the bottom, making it really difficult for Peters to set up. Looks like Peters trying to get get Johnson closer to that cage. And there's the power, Jay, you spoke about a little earlier, just tossing Johnson aside, trying to get into that uh, side mount. But this ground defense out of Johnson, putting his legs, his knees all in the right place, looking to stand up. But Peters does what Peters does and takes the back. right in front of our broadcast booth as Peters works to get both hooks in. Some sneaky blows underneath Johnson's defense. Trying to loosen him up. Johnson not giving an inch. Peters corner imploring him to continue the ground and pound. John in the best position he can be, Jay, right, right in his corner where he can hear the instruction. Clear as day. Dave Morris and Ginseng du jour in his corner. Ginseng and the reversal from Johnson as Peters has to defend from some serious ground and pound. <laughs> 30 seconds left in this round one of exciting Draca MMA action. Watch out for the triangle. 
so tough to get space against a guy like Peters. Vicious uppercut by Peters as he's great regains his uh, his stand up position. Great oh, right hand. Nice right. Right as the bell sounds. Peters' face looking a little worse for wear. And frankly, Johnson looks like he just got into the ring. Looks fresh, no blemishes. Entertaining first round if you like the ground. How do you score it, Ryan? You know what? I, I think Peters, I, I'll give Peters a 10-9 round. I think he controlled a little bit more of the fight, uh, a little bit more aggressive, had Johnson's back on several occasions. Johnson, however, doing a great job of reversing some of those positions, gaining position himself. But I think uh, Peters just did a little bit more. But and here we're going to see Peters with his first takedown. He got that leg. Johnson adroitly pulled it back. And the but once John Peters, gosh, but look at the agility. Look at the strength of Johnson to not get slammed, getting that leg behind him. The angle that Johnson got taken down in may have ruptured ligaments, tendons, broken a back of most normal people. Incredible, incredible flexibility by Johnson. So we were talking about Bruce Lee a little earlier, Jay. There's a, a, a nice little uh, Bruce Lee-esque head kick. Fast little head kick, wasn't it? Well, a fast, great, big, giant head <laughs> kick, actually. <laughs> if I were Peter's corner, I would be imploring him to keep his hands up higher. Those kicks are scary. They're lethal. Time. They're lethal if they connect, Jay. Nice stiff left. Connected with Johnson. That agility out of Johnson continues to amaze. There's the difficulty with throwing continuous kicks against a wrestler, falling in love with those kicks. That wrestler's going to get the timing and get that takedown just as Peters did right there. Especially a wrestler of John Peters' caliber. We'll say this about that. Having seen Peters fight several times, I've never seen anybody escape as effectively as Johnson. No, not at all. Peters, Peters has rolled over all six previous fighters. Lewis Johnson doing a great job of hand fighting, you know, maintaining his positions and just making it hard for Peters to do what he wants to do. And when somebody has your back, that's the goal. Make it as difficult for them as you can. By the same token, We've seen Johnson carry Peters around now on his back for almost an entire round. And some of those sneaky shots Peters is landing are going to start to tell. Great job out of Johnson. Pulling guard, unbelievable. Johnson really busy with elbows, with short shots on the ground, not letting Peters get comfortable. Great coaching by Peters, uh, Peters' corner as he had his left arm trapped in the, uh, in the guard of Johnson. Could have led into a, a triangle position. More great guard work from Johnson, Jay. Now Johnson clearly working. Would love to set up whatever he can find. Peter's a very tough guy to submit. Peter's, you're right, and Peter's corner is imploring him when he gets into these into these exchanges to keep his arms off the off the ring mat. 
because they're convinced Lewis Johnson is setting up something from this guard. John trying to get a oh, good position for Peters as he tries to get the hooks in. Boy, Johnson does a good job of turtling up. That looks tight, Jay. That looks tight. No hooks, but That's it does under, look tight. It's under the under the chin. He doesn't have that second hook, though, Jay. Johnson does not want to tap. Peter's corner telling him to start all over. Well, again, a testament to Johnson's toughness. Got right out of a choke that looked that would have would have probably gotten anybody else that Peters has ever faced. And that's something also we've seen is the evolution of the sport. You see, guys, as John Peters starts the ground and pound, as he stretches Johnson out, they're right in front of Antoine Britt, Johnson's corner man. Johnson never still on the ground, never letting Peters get comfortable. Ten seconds left in the round. Again, Jay, I think another round that was uh, Peter's round with, with that great, uh, you know, control. Had a couple submission attempts in, had the back. I'm going 10-9 round two for Peters. Agree. But what a, what a contest. There's the wild <laughs> kick from Peters. And look at those, one, two, spinning back kick, axe kick. Well, and there you go, just like you said, that you can only kick at a wrestler so many times. But Johnson's ground defense, oh, it's, it's really it's impressive. Superb, he's, he's controlling those, those hands every time. Great guard work from, from uh, Johnson, definitely knows what he's doing on the ground. And that's what we were talking about before, when Peters let go, the rear naked show. One of the evolutions in the sport is you see guys now Every fighter knows when to let go of the guillotine. Every fighter knows when to let go of the RNC, the Monte de Leon. If they don't have it, they're going to work for something else. Well, because what you don't want to do is you don't want to burn your arms out. Exactly. And then uh, when the fight gets back to its feet, you can't lift your, your hands and you get knocked out. Again, Johnson starting the round with those, uh, those leg kicks. You can, Jay, you can just see John timing those kicks, timing his shot right timing here. Timing that kick, standing in that classic wrestler's stance. He needs to look out for leg kicks from Johnson with the way he's planting all that weight on that front leg. Johnson doesn't seem to be too interested in kicking the leg. Well, and you don't there want, we go. You don't want to telegraph the takedown because that's when you run into an uppercut. Indeed, or a knee. Or a knee. Peter's corner telling him to not load up on the shots as he just did there. Well, Johnson's so effective this round, keeping Peters from, again, getting comfortable, this time on the feet. Johnson is varying his kicks. He's got a lot more variety on kicks this round than he did last round. So he's confusing Peters to the point where Peters doesn't know where these kicks are coming from. Making good and therefore use of his can't leg. catch there it goes until Peters. right there. Great sprawl work Gosh, by Johnson. Terrific sprawl. Peters relentless on the ground, being careful of stacking him up. Well, it comes a point, Jay, in a fight, and we're in the third round here, where even though you've got a great guard game, you, you, you probably don't want to be on your back at this point in a fight especially when Peters is probably up two rounds to none. Yeah, I'm, and I'm sure his corner knows that. Antoine Britt, extremely experienced. As Johnson tries to sink the triangle. And just as I say that. And a tap out by wow. Peters. Johnson nails the triangle. What a fight. 
Unbelievable performance by both gentlemen. Peters may have gone out a little bit. Definitely tapped. As Ryan makes his way to the cage to interview your winner, Lewis Lightspeed Johnson. Boy, what a fight. Bit of a come behind from behind victory for Johnson, who was definitely in trouble but never gave an inch on the ground to Peters. Here's the replay, here's the triangle. Peters out a little bit. Right there at the end, wasn't quite sure where he was at that last moment. Here's the setup, beautifully set up by Johnson. Probably a move that Peters would not have gotten caught in in the first two rounds. As the fighters approach the center, we go to Mike Mark. Ladies and gentlemen, the bout ends at 2 minutes 16 seconds of the third round. We have a tap out. Your winner by submission via triangle choke, Lewis Lightspeed Johnson. I'm here with your winner, Lewis Lightspeed Johnson. First of all, Lewis, congratulations on running your pro record to three and one. Uh, when you play back the, uh, the replay of this, literally I just said, in a, in a fight that John Peters may be up two rounds to none, being on your back is probably where you don't want to be, and on cue, you hit that triangle. Uh, it's one of those things I've always practiced, you know, being on my back. I'm a wrestler, let's get that out there, but uh, I have no problem being on my back. I can compete from anywhere, and I will compete from anywhere. Well, you gave John Peters his first loss, his professional deb debut, a great fighter in Peters, but... Uh, you persevered two torturous rounds again. Who do you want to thank for getting you this win tonight? Uh, I want to thank my coaches, my uh, family for supporting me, God, obviously. Uh, everyone, you know, all, everyone that's been supporting me through this. It's been very tough, but it's what I do. This is what I do. He's your winner, Lewis Lightspeed Johnson. Three and one as a pro. Boy, to get his third win, Lewis Johnson drew a tough card, and John Peters 